In this video we're going to change decimals to percents and we'll just do the examples on this page and that's all. Okay. So 0 0.50 you might be familiar with what percentage that is. <coughs> just please guess what the answer is here and write it down. <coughs> 0 0.50. What is that? It's 50 percent isn't it? Right. Well this is you see 50 hundredths because we've got units, tenths, hundredths. So 50 hundredths, isn't it? Now 50 hundredths is 50 divided by 100 or 50 per 100 or um, 50 per so 50 per 100 is the same thing as 50 per cent, right? 50 out of every 100. 50 percent of the class are uh, male, that's 50 per 100. 50 out of every 100 people, right? 50 percent of the college are male, 50 percent, right? So 50 per cent, like that, okay? So that's one way of doing it. And uh, we're just trying to understand it. Instead of just, there is a trick to this, but instead of just rem remembering the trick, let's try and understand it a little bit at least. 0 0.25. I just want to write, get you to write that as a decimal first of all, or a fraction. Sorry, write this as a fraction first of all. It's so we've got units, tenths, hundredths. How many hundredths? Twenty-five hundredths or 25 divided by 100 or 25 per hundred per hundred right cent means a hundred doesn't it hundred cents in a dollar okay 25 per hundred is 25 per cent isn't it how about 0 0.03 write it as a fraction first of all As a fraction, it is three hundredths, isn't it? Three hundredths. This is all good practice to, to make sure we understand all this. We have to. So three per hundred, uh, three out of every hundred people has uh, climbed a mountain. Three per hundred. That would be three per cent. Okay? Uh, so do this one by yourself. 0 0.04. Turn that into a percentage. Well, as a fraction, first of all, is 4 per 100. 4 divided 4 hundredths. 4 per 100. So that is, of course, 4 per cent. Right? Now, 0 0.9 is 9 tenths, obviously, right? Uh, we could also say 0 0.9 is the same thing as 0 0.90, so stick a 0 there. And now that is 90 hundredths, isn't it? 90 hundredths. And then you could say that is um, 90 per hundred or 90 percent, okay? Um, but the the trick, as you've probably seen and, and probably seen before in your life sometime, is that if you just take this decimal point and move it two spaces to the right, now we have 90 with a decimal point here, and so it's 90%. So if I wanted to change 0 0.8 to a percentage, I just take the decimal point, move it two spaces, one, two to the right, now the decimal point is here, but I must put in a placeholder zero, you see. So that is 80%, just like that, without using fractions at all. So if I want to go from a, a decimal to a percent, I just take the decimal point and move it two spaces to the right, 50%, right? Move two spaces to the right, 25%. Move the decimal point one, two spaces to the right, 3%. 
two spaces to the right, 4%, and you don't need to use the fractions. But it's good to write the fractions out because he, if you don't understand it, then what's the point, right? Okay, so 1.13, um, I'm actually going to show you, this is actually 113 hundredths, in fact, you see, which is why it makes sense that is that is 113 per hundred, okay? So this type of percentage would be used for, say, you made an investment and um, for every hundred dollars you invested, at the end of the year, you got $113 back. So 13% was like the interest you got back. So it's 113 per 100. So for every $100, you actually got $113 back. So that's like, a, that would be an investment type of uh, situation. So anyway, you could move decimal point two spaces to the right and just get 113 that way. So please do this one, 2.25, write this as a percentage. Once again, you can just take this decimal point, move it one, two spaces to the right, and you get. Two hundred and twenty five per cent, right? How about the number one? Turn that into a percentage. First of all, where is the decimal point? When you just have the number one, where is the decimal point? Is it here? Okay. If you were to move that two spaces to the right, what would that look like? Move it two spaces to the right. <coughs> one, two. Okay. Now put in some placeholder zeros. Put in some zeros. Put a zero here and put a zero here, right? So we're moving the decimal point all the way over here and we're putting in zeros, that means we've got 100 and the decimal point is here, right? So that's 100 percent, right? 1 equals 100 percent, right? Okay, press pause and do 0 0.1 and then do 0 0.01. Turn each of these into a percentage. Please press pause and do that. Okay, I hope you've tried it. I'm going to do it now. Um, I've got to move the decimal point one, two spaces to the right, and I can stick in a placeholder zero. That gives me 10 percent. Okay, I move here. I must move the decimal point one, two spaces to the right, and that just gives me one percent. So 0 0.1 is 10 percent, 0 0.01 is 1 percent. And once again, I'll go over to 0 0.1 is the same thing as 0 0.10, 0 0.10, or 10 hundredths, 10 per hundred, which is why that is 10 per cent. Whereas this guy, 0 0.01, is in fact just 1 per hundred, 1 hundredth, or 1 per cent, right?